page settings in Clip Studio Paint because I rarely see it talk about. And this is a quick video from a course that used to exist. So you open up Clip Studio Paint and yours doesn't look exactly like mine, which is perfectly fine. But let's talk about the most important thing. Well, not the most important thing. <laughs> it's all going to be equally important, uh, which is going to be, let's open up a new document. So you're going to go up to file. You're going to go down to new. The hotkey is control N. I have never used that hotkey ever. I, I just never have. Uh, and let's go with, you can see you can do illustration. You can do a webtoon. And so you see it's giving you a little preview. So it's this long strip. You can do a comic. You can do, I believe this is a, a fanzine. I'm, and by the way, I'm not sure what fanzine. I think I know what it is, but I don't use that. I think it's just another, it's a magazine format. This is show all of your comic settings. So you can set these up. We also have animation. And that is it. But over here, if you see my preset is 2K. I, for me personally, I think that it's a good idea for you to have a preset that is the equivalent to your screen. But I would say at very least, even if you have a 1080 by 1920p, if you have a 4K screen, have at least one screen set or have at least one preset that is 4K, uh, and this is 2K. So if you would like to use this, I do encourage it. It is, your width would be 2560. Your height, height is going to be 1440. The resolution is 300. And basic expression color is here. Your paper color, uh, I have that checked off if you want to uh, bring this paper color down a little bit. You can change your paper color. So if I change it to a gray so that I'm not looking at white, then I can do that. You also can use a template. You'll have to, there are templates that you can make. There are different templates that are over here. I have some custom templates for some of the worksheets that I was using uh, in the Udemy courses. And this other one created a moving illustration uh, that gets into the animation. So, but right now, the biggest thing I want to show you is that let's, let's create one that is, let's create one that is, that is often, often looked at like, oh, well, you can just start with this when I vehemently disagree with this. So let's go with one that says 2000 let's go with 2000 by 1200 but for the resolution i want to put 72 dpi now the running uh historically people have said uh, well it doesn't make a difference uh if you're just using it for the web 72 the resolution doesn't make a difference okay we're going to save this. So you're going to go over here to the little save icon and we are going to put bad resolution. So that's what we're going to do. Going to hit OK. Now, you also want to make sure that your units are in pixels. Pixels and points are going to be the same measurements, but I don't use points. So pixels, if you're going to print something, you would definitely want to use inches. So let's hit OK. Now, I'm going to go over here to the pencil. So I want you just to grab a pencil so it's going to look like this. It's going to look like a pencil icon. <laughs> that's, 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 I, that's probably the easiest thing to recognize. So I'm going to use this regular pencil here. And this is okay, right? But when you start to zoom in, you see how quickly that becomes pixelated? I'm going to compare these two. So I'm going to go with new. We're going to go with my 2K. 
when hit OK. Now for me to zoom in, it's not as pixelated as quickly. So let me see. So this is this is pretty pixelated right about here. So the pixels are bigger. And this may not seem like a really big deal to you. You're like, ah, this doesn't look that much bigger. But they, this, uh, these pixels are a lot bigger because when you go in here like this, and I'm trying to make sure that they're about the same size. And you also look at the, the size of your stylus. So right here, it's about this size. If I switch back over, all of a sudden it becomes bigger. And so like your brush size is going to uh, make a big difference. Now, is it like a super dramatic difference when you're zoomed out like this? No, not that much of a difference. But when you start to zoom in, especially when you start to digital paint, then this does, in my opinion, this becomes an issue. That's why I vehemently disagree when people are like, oh, 72 inches is fine. Or 72 uh, DPI is fine. I tend to like this. So if I go with new, and if even if I cranked it up, say I go to 600 DPI, I hit OK. And all of a sudden when I draw, I'm getting this line. It's a lot crisper. So this is my, that's my 600 DPI. This is my 300 DPI. Which this is what I normally work at is the 300. But when you get to this, you can get sharper lines. So it takes a lot to zoom in there. But to me, I get sharper lines. I don't like the 72 DPI. I think that you should at least be at 300 DPI. Now, if you have an older computer uh, or an older PC or something, then at very least you got to use 150. I just don't, 72 DPI for me is just way too small, uh, especially if you want to get in, you want to start detailing and the more experienced you become, the more detailed that you want to get, the better off you're going to be with the 72 DPI. So that is uh, the most important, one of the most important settings to start out with. I'm going to stop talking and I'll see you guys right in the next video.